Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're gonna check it out how to apply heat maps in After Effects. So I'm gonna work with this composition. I made it for a client a while ago, and now I kind of messed it up. But I'm gonna show you how to apply heat map on text eventually, or on logos. So it's really good if you have a text in 3D, for example, because we got shading, we got lights, we got the gradients and this and that. So it's gonna work. You know, if you use a flat two-dimensional text or something like that, you won't see results. Okay, so we're gonna go to the effects and presets. I'm gonna type in Colorama and I'm gonna drag and drop to this. And it's easy as that. Now you also can switch up the colors. You can do a lot more. Look how beautiful that looks. It has a lot of gradients going on. So we're gonna go to the output cycle. And as you can see, we got the color wheel here with all the heat map colors. You also can change the colors however you like. You know, for example, look at that. This actually looks pretty good. And you also can decrease uh, some of the opacity. For example, here we got the red. As you can see, it goes here and you can decrease the opacity to zero. And now it's going to be white. Anyway, so I'm going to push this back. Let me check input phase. There you go. So we got the phase shift. With the phase shift, you can mix up the colors. See, now it's like yellow in the top. So if I go here, it's going to be yellow. So it was on 56 and this is how you can basically uh, change up the colors. Now you also can record this. So I'm gonna go here at the beginning and I'm gonna click on the stopwatch at the face shift and I'm gonna bring this here and I'm gonna flip it like that. So it's gonna change the colors constantly. And basically this is the heat map effect in After Effects. I also launched a new tutorial on the members only channel, which is related to these iridescent blobs with a lot of colors. If you want to check them out, you can click the join button near the subscription and select secret content and watch some more pro tutorials. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.